Glory Kickboxing just officially revealed the Knockout of the Year Award 2021. Hello kickboxing fans, welcome to your favorite kickboxing channel and I'm your host and today I have exciting news for all of you that the kickboxing organization, Glory, just officially revealed the Knockout of the Year Award for this year. Can you guess who the winner is? Who else can win apart from the Polish fighter Arkadish Wojciech, who delivered a terrific knockout kick in his match with Badr Hari. If you haven't seen it yet, then you're missing out because it was crazy and completely unbelievable. After that fight, Wojciech has become extra popular in the world. New sponsors are offering, new fight proposals are coming in his way and his life has changed. Let's talk about it in detail. But make sure you subscribe to the channel, give us a like and press the bell icon to stay up to date. And without any further ado, let's begin. This year on September 4th, the boxing organization Glory arranged their kickboxing championship event Glory 78 in Rotterdam, Ahoy, Netherlands. In the main event, it was an exciting kickboxing duel scheduled between none other than Badr Hari and Arek Worshizek. Just their names in a single match is enough to make your adrenaline rush in excitement, isn't it? People had high expectations from the match, but I would say what we saw in the match was more than all of our expectations. What happened was historic. Arek Worshizek snatched his victory in the last moment by the skin of his teeth. I must say Arek is a game changer, but also there's a little room for skepticism if it was historic or a staged act to create history. It is true that if we study the career graph of Badr Hari, since 2016, he doesn't have any significant winning in his career. But before that, he had an unstoppable success rate for more than 20 years. You might say currently Hari is just 4 years away from being 40. In the ring of kickboxing, he's becoming a faded force. But even at his age, Hari consistently maintained the upper hand in his fight against Worshizek. He started the match in his usual pattern with some explosive punches against Arek Worshizek. During the match, Arek barely got any chance to stand in front of the legendary Hari. The veteran player, Hari, unleashed back-to-back -back brutal punches and knocked Worshizek down three times in round one. Everyone thought Worshizek was on the verge of his defeat, but that is when the game changed. He kept Hari punching with brutal shots and Worshizek suddenly whipped out a jaw-dropping Hail Mary left high kick and knocked out Hari in just one single shot. Hari was unable to move and get up in the next 10 seconds after having the head kick. The incident is also considered one of the greatest comebacks in the history of the Glory tournaments. Here, let me clarify for you that Hail Mary is a colloquial term often used in the sports or military for fighting, etc. The term implies a last lucky effort by an individual or a team with a little chance of success. There is also a term that you must have heard of it and it's called the Hail Mary plan. It also means a last minute contingency plan in that it does a do or die scenario. So again, back to the subject, Wershizek had barely any chance to win the match. No one ever thought that such a miracle might happen, but hats off to Arek Wershizek as he made his career best performance under immense pressure and extraordinary situation. According to the match analyst that worked in the favor of Wershizek, there was perfect timing and accuracy of the shot. That is why the desperate head kick seemed too much to absorb for Hari. As Badr Hari stated afterward, that right after the kick, he was barely able to do anything because his head was not in synchronization with his body. It took enough time to catch up again, and it's pretty well known that he's a huge fan of Legia Warsaw since his school days. He's also fond of video games, particularly if it is on the PlayStation. In his initial days, he was more enthusiastic about soccer, but as he got into martial art training, he gradually built an immense interest in fighting. Reportedly, he used to be an ardent fan of Bruce Lee. In the game of kickboxing, he first appeared in the Sand Formula as an amateur fighter, and eventually, he won the championship. Later on, he has performed in more than 40 amateur kickboxing championships and he ended up as the winner of most of them. In the meantime, from 2014 to 2017, he had been an active member of the national boxing team of Poland. Afterward, he became a part of professional kickboxing also and in 2018, he won the Professional International Polish ISKA Championship in the 95 plus kg category. Since 2018, he's become a significant part of Glory, which is the biggest organization of kickboxing in the world. According to his description, because of his Muay Thai for a couple of months, 
he's quite efficient in kicking. He indeed has a strong kick. If you notice, he ended up with 9 matches knocking his opponent out and in 7 of them he used his powerful signature kick. In an interview, he was asked what his reaction was when he first came to know that he was going to fight Badr Hari. His response to this interests me quite a lot. He said that initially he could not believe that it was real because he expressed a lot of time in his previous interviews that he was interested to fight Hari. Because Badr Hari is a veteran and starfighter and he only fights big opponents. So at this news he initially thought Glory was giving him just a random option. But when he finally got the official message from Glory for the scheduled match, he felt tremendously excited and honored as well. But he also knew that it would be a tough fight, something really difficult to win. So he started training hard. He further added that he is not satisfied with how the fight went on, because he could have performed better. In the beginning, he looked quite stiff in the ring. As Wershazek himself described, he was not able to figure out the correct distance and perfect tempo. He had a gap of two years in the boxing ring, so he was facing some problems punching Badr Hari. You can see in the first half of the match, Wershazek took several attempts to throw jabs but kept missing Hari. Rather, in the next round, it is visible that he did a lot better. Though within a moment, Badr Hari again kept punching him and Wershazek went down and it damaged him. He said in the interview that if he got a chance to fight in another match, before that one, it could be like a warm-up. That way, he won't be so stiff in the fight and could have played freely. But he said that it was also a part of the plan to let Badr Hari come closer and punch him. Wershazek's coach came up with the idea because, in the boxing ring, Badr Hari is no less than a monster. He got both experience and tactics, so it would not be difficult for Hari to crush Wershazek. So Wershazek during the whole fight waited for a perfect position to land his signature kick. That was his only advantage over Badr Hari. Though, as Wershazek stated, he was not sure what would happen next. He even thought that the veteran fight would avoid the kick or would be able to absorb the impact. But a few seconds later, when he had seen that Hari tried to get up but fell again, he knew that he won the fight. Many critics and fans have called it a hilarious comeback in kickboxing history. Fans, including Wershazek himself, consider this comeback was pretty much insane. To date, no kickboxer has ever made such a terrific comeback. As per Wershazek himself, the knockout is truly the best in the heavyweight category. Meanwhile, I guess you already know that Badr Hari also asked for a rematch with Wershazek. Naturally, he seeks revenge. Even a lot of fans of both the kickboxers are asking for a rematch, but only the organization Glory updated nothing like this. So what do you wish? Do you want a rematch? Or do you want to see Wershazek in some other matches with different opponents? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, mention which fighter you want to see his match with. I think it's going to be damn interesting. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos, and don't forget to click the bell icon there. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.